everybody, WalkyBoby here bringing you another Let's Play video inside of Stardew Valley. It is the 20th of summer in the first year of our completionist farm. Uh, let's start the day off like we always do by checking the weather. Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. I don't know what's all going on with my voice right now. And now, and now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. I don't know, I can't do anything with my voice. It's like, it, um... It's just scratchy and weird. It's kind of strange. Uh, let's check with the fortune teller. Ah, I sense... <laughs> ah, I sense that a new viewer has joined us. A young man from Stardew Valley. Welcome, welcome. The spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Okay. Well, that's, uh... That's okay. Could be... Could be better, but... It could also be a lot worse. Uh, oh, uh, look. Demetrius liked our gift. I wanted to say thanks for taking an interest in my work. Here's a cooking recipe that I like. Demetrius gave me fried mushroom. Okay. Oh, and another one from Demetrius. Uh, wonky puppy, I'm gathering data on the correlation between soil alkalinity and crop fructose levels. Long story short, I need a fresh melon from your farm. If you brought me one, I'd be very grateful. Demetrius. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll have some melons growing up here in the next few days, so we can definitely do that for him. Uh, looks like we got some poppies done. We got some uh, tomatoes. And our hops are good to go. Uh, there's a pepper down there. A whole bunch of just random crops. <clears throat> Very fun. I got a little bit of corn. And a pepper, like I said. Cool. Let's just dump all of this stuff into the bin, because we don't need any of it for anything. Uh, except we'll keep the hops for pale ales. They're good for that. And what I'll probably do is uh, sell the gold quality ones now that I think about it and keep the silver quality ones for Pale Ale. Because uh, Pale Ale doesn't have quality levels, so no matter what quality crop you throw in, you get the same thing out of it. That's a tip for you all. Uh, we need to go and get a whole bunch of uh, wheat seeds as well to fill all of the spaces that we just created and the ones that we had from below uh, from earlier in the week. Um, I think Robin is still working on our barn. Yep, she is. <clears throat> no, she's working on it for the first time. For the first day, that's right. Um, and it's not a barn, it's a coop. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, hello, Mr. Goatface. I love you. And hello, Mr. Mr. Moomian. Uh, let's grab some hay and throw you down. Move. Move your butt for Zabella. Thank you. Cool. So we got that done. Let's throw you in here. No, don't drink the milk. Make cheese. Make cheese! Um, another thing that we're going to need to do today is... Uh, okay, so what I want to do is I want to make sure that we have everything that we need in order to make a deluxe barn. Which means we're going to need a whole bunch of wood and we're going to need a whole bunch of money. More than we have right now. So, um, what I thought I'd do is kind of a two birds with one stone thing. Let's go fishing to level up our fishing skill. And uh, we're going to do it in the mountain lake so we can hopefully catch a, a sturgeon. But I also need to really, um, really increase my fishing level. Uh, we're not going to get a ton of gold from fishing. But it's at least productive. It at least gets us like going the right direction uh, to make some money. Because other than that, what I was going to do is just go around and chop a bunch of wood. That's not going to make me any money. So I want to I want to not do that. <laughs> Okay, so nobody's birthday's coming up immediately. Okay. Oh, oh, this is good, too. I need a largemouth bass to power my latest invention. It's the only thing that will work from Maru. She'll give me 300 gold. Okay, so we're going to get a largemouth bass in the mountain lake, which is where the sturgeon is, which is where I want to go fishing. So this is actually all falling into place very nicely. Haha! <laughs> it's all part of my master plan that I totally have and not making this up as I go. Um, okay, so if we get a largemouth bass, what we'll do is run over to Robin's house and see if Maru's inside. And if she is, then we'll give her a thing. Hello. I hope we're not having mushroom casserole tonight. Aw, poor Sebastian. Do you like flowers? Question mark. Apparently you don't. Fine. Be that way. See if I care. Uh, she's not in here right now. I'm wasting time, but that's okay. Okay, she's in there. I am able to get into her bedroom now because we have a strong enough relationship to do that. So I can actually go in there and give her the fish that she wants. Very, very handy. In daily do neighbor Reno. Okay, let's fish over here in this little alcove spot. If you don't know, this is where you go to catch the legendary fish later on. I definitely don't have the skill 
to do that. And I don't think I don't even think like the summer's the right season for this one. Um, I don't remember which season the legend fish is at this spot. I think it might be fall. I'm not 100 percent sure. I'll have to look it up later on when we want it. Uh, this is probably gonna be like a carp or something lame. I'm guessing. Okay, I need to I need to really focus. Come on, focus. I need to catch. <laughs> I keep talking about how lame this is gonna be, but I'm I'm still losing it. Oh jeez, this is probably not a great day to go fishing because I'm not I'm really not in the oh it's a chub even worse. Mother catch? That's a weird. It's a weird thing. I'll have to look up what that is. It's like mother catch for a tiny chub. Wow. Um, I'm not really in the right mindset to go fishing, but I wanted to do it anyway because I need gold, need sturgeon, now I need a, a, a bass, need to upgrade my fishing skill. There's just a whole bunch of needs happening. I just feel like I haven't been doing enough fishing uh, in the game. So we're going to do that today, like uh, like last time. Um, if I can keep talking and hopefully say something interesting throughout this whole thing, then I'm probably not going to cut it, but I might cut it if things get boring if I lose... I, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm normally pretty good at just, just gabbing away, though. <laughs> this kind of stuff. Uh, this is interesting, though. I should come up with something else to talk about. Okay, so I should probably talk about what I was trying to articulate earlier about the barn. I want to make sure that I upgrade the barn as soon as I can at this point. So once the coop's done, I'd like to immediately go right into upgrading the barn. The barn is really expensive, though, and it needs a lot of materials to do it. The reason I want to, I want to get it so fast is that I need two truffles to complete the community center. And in order to get truffles, I need to raise pigs. And in order to raise pigs, I need the biggest the biggest barn possible. And uh, the pigs take, I think, two-ish weeks, like 15 days or so to grow. And then every day once they're grown, they'll produce truffles. But they don't produce truffles in the winter. So in order to... Oh, I got the large mouse bass. So after, after this, this one, I'll have to go and give that to her. Um, okay, so what I was saying before... Uh, I need to produce two truffles, which means the last, at least, a very minimum, the last two days of fall, I need the pig out there finding truffles, because they don't find truffles in the winter. In order to do that, that means that the first week of fall, I need to have the barn, and then I need to buy a pig. Uh, no later than, like, the first week of fall. Um, so I want to I wanna move that timeline up a little bit, because I'm a little nervous that I won't be able to make that. Um, so that's really what I'm worried about. I want to try to go get the barn right now because I don't want to. I don't want to like say, "Oh, I have until the first week of, I have until the first week of uh, fall," and then get into the first week of fall, and then realize that I'm way behind on money or resources or something like that, and then like be in a mad dash to try to get that and probably miss it and then screw up the entire plan. Um, the coop stuff is a lot easier because I have all of winter to catch up on that if I fall a little bit behind. I don't have that for this other stuff though. And, uh, okay. Okay, silver quality large mouth battle. Let's go give this to Maru. Um, so that's really what I'm worried about. Um, it's those pigs and getting the truffles. <laughs> um, once we get those, I'll feel a lot better about my chances of actually completing this in a year. I'm sure I'm overlooking something else and I'll make a stupid mistake and we still won't be able to do it. Uh, but I don't want it to be because of the dang truffles. Oh, that's exactly what I need to power my latest invention, Walkie Puppy. Thank you! You are so welcome. Hey, you have any interesting stories to tell me? Nope. Nothing interesting going on in my life. Sorry about that. Uh, let's go fishing again. Uh, so far I think we're, we're getting some pretty good luck on these catches. I would really, 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 really like to get a sturgeon. I don't think I'm going to have the skill to do it yet, but hopefully I can, I can level up, if nothing else. Um, see, the other things that I need, that I'm worried about getting before the end of term is a rabbit's foot and a duck feather, all of which require up upgrading the coop that's being built right now, which is why I went ahead and started the coop, because I am going to have to get that going as well, and uh, just a little bit worried about it. Um, what I also want to do uh, pretty soon, probably while the, oh no, I can't do it while the barn's being upgraded. Um, probably while the pig's coming up, is I want to reconfigure the, the area over where I have the animals. And I do like the idea of uh, putting the uh, the barn and the coop, the, at least the first ones that I'm going to get, on either side of the greenhouse and fencing that whole area in front of the greenhouse for the animals to go and making that like my grass growing area for them. It'll be a nice wide area and um, it'll be a good place to grow grass. And the uh, animals are actually get bonus happiness points if they're able to go outside. 
and um, and eat grass instead of eating hay and being stuck inside all day. So they, they get happier faster, which means they give you better quality crops faster. And in order to complete the animal bundle, I need a large milk from the cow, I need a large milk from the goat, and I need a large white egg and brown egg from uh, chickens. Uh, duck eggs only come in one side, so you don't really need your duck to be happy, but happier ducks produce more feathers, and I do need a feather to complete the community center, so it does make sense. Uh, I also need to get a rabbit, which I can't get until I fully upgrade the coop. And then once I have a rabbit, he'll hopefully, once he gets really, really happy, will drop a, uh, a rabbit's foot. And I, I mean, I also need some wool, which rabbits can drop, but I don't think I need all of those things. I need a, I think I can get away with missing one of them in the animal bundle. And that was probably a sturgeon that I just missed as well, which kind of sucks. Uh, but really, yeah, I'm going to be focusing in on getting my animals going. I need a bunch of gold to do that, so I'm trying to get as much gold as I possibly can. Um, hopefully it rains again soon, like the big thunderstorm, because after the thunderstorm, the forgeables on the beach get even better. How did I miss that? I hit that. I know I hit that. Um, no, oh, game's, game's getting on my nerves. Okay, so this is probably going to be a chub. I didn't have to move. That's a carp. Carps are lame. Oh, well. <laughs> uh... Man, it'd be so cool if we got a sturgeon. Ugh, another carp. Ooh, a treasure chest. Ooh, I almost lost it there. I need to focus. I, I got real quiet there for a second as I was like, oh no, I don't want to lose the treasure chest. <laughs> uh, I got the carp, and what's in here? Ooh, uh, elvish jewelry is just an artifact and coal. Another artifact that would be so cool if I actually got would be a dinosaur egg. Um, I was definitely going to keep the first dinosaur egg that I get and put it into the, uh, the incubator once I upgrade the coop, because then you actually get dinosaurs on your farm, which they're so adorable. Uh, I mean, they're kind of a waste, uh, because all they do is produce one dinosaur egg every week or so, I think, and there's nothing really special about that. Uh, they're just so cute. It's just so cute to have one in your coop. I, would, I probably wouldn't have more than one, but they're just adorable. I love it. I love them. And um, if you donate your first egg, then you have to go find another one in the wild or in a, in a chest while you're fishing. And um, yeah, you don't have to do that. It's better to hatch your first dinosaur egg and uh, then your, your dinosaur will lay another egg that you can go donate to, to Gunther to get your, your artifacts. Oh, and there's bubbles right there, but there's no way for me to cast into that spot, which is really annoying when they do that. Let's see, is this going to be another chub? Yeah. Come on, guys. Let me catch a sturgeon. Pretty, 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 please. I really want to get something here. Um, let's see. What else are we going to be working on? Um, so another thing that might catch me on trying to fulfill the community center is the red cabbage. I can't buy red cabbage seeds until year two normally, um, but I'm really going to have to hope that the traveling merchant shows up with a red cabbage at some point. She'll be back tomorrow, so I'll have to make a, a I have to make an effort to and talk to her and um, see if she's got the red cabbage. If she does, that would be fantastic. Um, what are the other things? The duck feather we already talked about. I need to make sure that I get a happy duck so he drops duck feathers so I can donate one of those. Um, I am going to have to also upgrade my house. That's a good thing that I can do during winter. Uh, because there's, you can't grow as much during winter. You can only grow, ooh, a bullhead, nice. You can't grow them as much during winter. There's less to do. People get pretty bored during winter because they, they love the farming aspect of this game. But there is just so much that you can do during the game. Or in the game. So you can go, uh, I spend most of my time in winter cleaning up my farm, uh, mining, and fishing. Those are times I kind of catch up on all those tasks. Because you don't really have to water, and I have all these sprinklers that don't have to water anyway, but you don't have to care for your the crops, which actually can be time consuming for all the, the picking and the harvesting and yada yada yada, but it's not so bad. Okay, don't want to lose this fish though. Okay, there we go. So we got a treasure chest, which is good, and um, we should catch this fish, which I think it's just going to be a carp. Oh, it's a bullhead. Nice. Uh, bait. Ah, uh, it's not bad. I mean, I don't have a fishing rod that can use bait, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, come on. Please give me the fish I want. I don't want newspaper. 
Why would I want a soggy newspaper? That's lame. It's starting to get a little late, but... Ah! Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if I can catch the sturgeon past 7 o'clock. Past 7 o'clock, mm -hmm. that's when you roll into quote-unquote night fishing, and a bunch of the fish that you can normally catch aren't available anymore. I think the sturgeon might be one of those. I'm not totally sure. Uh, we'll find out, though. Well, maybe we will. Maybe we won't. <laughs> um... I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, I'd be very happy. But uh, I just want to catch as many fish as I can today so we can try to get our fishing skill up a level. And, uh, oh, I missed that one. Hopefully make a little bit of money from all this. We are catching some some gold quality fish, which will definitely help with that effort. Uh, but the gold quality ones we're catching are all carps and chubs and all these garbage fish. We're not catching any really good high value fish, which kind of sucks. Um... Oh, perfect. Nice. So that should be, what, gold quality, hopefully? Oh, good. A gold quality bullhead should sell for, for a little bit more. I'd like to catch some more largemouth bass, but I'm not sure that's going to be in the cards for us today, unfortunately. I think Leia... I got a piece of driftwood in there. I think Leia actually likes that as a gift. Because uh, she's, you know, artsy and stuff. And likes to make things out of wood. So I guess driftwood is good for art? Maybe? Could be. That, that would make sense. That wouldn't make sense. And she doesn't ever come up here, so... You know, she's not gonna get driftwood. She does go out to the beach, though. Maybe that's what she's doing when she goes out to the beach. Maybe she's looking for, like, seashells and mm -hmm. driftwood and stuff like that that she can make art with. Uh, that would make sense. That would be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I always like that kind of stuff when you're taking things that should be trash or that are otherwise clutter. Uh, like an area. Or, you know, be forgotten. Like reclaimed mm -hmm. wood and stuff like that. And then um, turning it into something new and fresh. I really like that. That kind of... I think that's just, it's just a really neat thing to do. Um... Like, like, I love old barn wood uh, tables and stuff like that that people have. I just think they look so cool. Um, but, you know, whatever. How is... Uh, oh, perfect. Nice. Uh, another bullhead. It's 940, so we still have a little bit of time. Our energy is doing okay. Not fantastic. Um, I'm really tempted to cut down these trees in this area. But I also want to stick to my resolve and catch as many fish as I can before the end of the episode. So, I mean... I don't know. I am I am actually covering... Uh, because this is kind of mindless for me. I am actually covering a lot of things that I wanted to talk to you guys about, too. That's, that's kind of cool. Um, I'm glad I'm able to do that. I'm trying to think through the other bundles and if there's any other gotchas that I need to watch out for. The animals is a really big gotcha that I'm trying to work through as aggressively as I can. Uh, I am going to need to make kegs as well so I can make some wine for uh, the wizard, I think, wants wine. Uh, that's not that's not a big one. I can do that during winter, no problem. Um, what else is there that I'm thinking or probably forgetting? There's still some fish that we need, but really the only other fish mm -hmm. that I think that we can get during... Or the other only other two fish that I think we can get during summer that I don't have yet. Uh, three fish, I guess. The sturgeon, which is going to be hard to catch. And I think I can catch him in other, other seasons, so it's not a big deal. The red snapper, which I can only catch when it's raining. So if it's not raining, there's really nothing I can do about it. And the wood skip, which uh, I can catch really any time at the secret forest. So, again, I'm not too concerned about that. I don't feel any pressure in the timeline for the fish. There's a whole bunch of fish that we are going to have to catch in fall. That I've got notes, I've got notes written down that I need to make a point to go and catch in different seasons. Um, when it rains, that's going to be a good time to go catch the walleye at night. And the tiger trout is another one that I need to catch in the river. Um, but again, I can only catch it during the fall, so. Yeah. We're getting really close on all those bundles, which is nice. Uh, I think I'm going to try to catch one more fish, and then we'll probably go ahead and call it. So I can actually make it back in time before 1. Uh, I'll give it till 12.20. If I don't... There we go. Got it. Got the fish. Okay. Take. I'll take all that back. I was going to say that if we don't catch something by 12.20, I was just going to start running back. But we caught something, so we can... We're good. We're good, guys. We're good. All right, so we got a whole bunch of fish. We got two gold quality... Um, Bullheads. We got five silver quality bullheads. We got four silver quality carp. We got two silver quality uh, mouth bass. Five gold quality chubs. One gold quality carp and two silver quality chubs. So that's a lot of fish. That's 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14, 15, 17 fish. That's a lot of fish. We really caught 18 because we already gave one away to somebody and got 300 gold for it. Which is definitely a premium for the fish. Oh, darn. It's 1 o'clock. We didn't make it back in time. Okay, so we're going to have a little bit of an energy penalty, but that's that's not the end of the world. Let's take this cheese and dump all of this fish and cheese into the bin. I am going to throw that driftwood over to the side so we can go give it to Leah at some point, but... Um, yeah, not a, not a, not a priority. Uh, let's just go ahead and head straight to bed. I'm feeling bad that we, <laughs> we missed the, the one o'clock cutoff. Yeah, let's go ahead and go to sleep for the night and see. Hopefully we leveled up fishing. We had to have, right? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Level five fishing. Choose a proficient. Whether you're fish, where fish are worth 25% more, or trapper, resources required to craft crab pots reduced. I'm going to go with fisher because I need money now. Uh, this will make fishing a little bit more profitable. Okay, so we got 2300 from farming. That's fantastic. All those poppies are really what drove that for us. We got uh, 1600 gold from fishing. That's actually pretty good. Um, that's actually more than I was expecting yet. So we got 4000 in total. Very nice. Uh, but with that, I am going to go ahead and cut this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you liked the video, please let me know that by hitting the like button below. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with everything going on in the channel. And until next time, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!